an exciting time right now. I mean, we're looking forward to playing somebody other than ourselves. You know, we've been training five weeks in the fall. We've been training for about four and a half weeks now uh, in the spring. And you're playing against each other every day. So it's, it's uh, really excited that we want to play against somebody else. And we have two really good teams coming in this weekend. The expectations are high. You know, I think uh, I've stepped into a really good team, really talented. Uh, we're, our expectations are to win, to win the whole thing, to win a national championship. Uh, but we have some strong teams ahead of us uh, that we have to get by to get to that point. Uh, it's a long season, yes, but this weekend we're playing the number one team in the country. So, you know, right off the bat, we get to kind of see where we're at. Uh, and uh, from what I've heard and what I've gathered informationally, uh, Pepperdine is really good and LMU is exceptionally better than they've been in the past. Uh, so it's going to be a great challenge. We're looking forward to it. First games of the season are always really kind of jittery for the team, you know, get those first just plays out, you know, playing someone else. We've been playing against each other for seven months now, you know, six, seven months. And so we get used to each other, get used to the same games and same people and knowing their tendencies and stuff. So going out to our first games of the season are always like a big eye opener of seeing where we're really going to be at for the season, seeing how well we can adapt as a team to playing other teams and adjusting when we need to adjust. Right now, Brittany Teagues and Nikki Taylor, they're our number one team. You know, they're really good. And Nikki's only played for a couple years of sand volleyball, maybe only one full time, uh, but she's 6'4". You know, she can do things physically that other girls can't. And Brittany's been playing sand volleyball for a long time. You know, she's from Florida originally. She has great ball control, great court vision. You know, she was on the ones team all last year. You know, she's exceptional. She'll do a good job. Uh, secondly, uh, Olivia. You know, Olivia's been around the program for a couple years. She played in four or five last year. We're trying to elevate her to number two with Katie, Katie Spieler. Um, and Katie's exceptional. Katie is uh, one of those special players that every point is like a championship point, even in practice on a Tuesday. She's one to watch. She's really dynamic for her size because she's what we call a small. She does an incredible job. So those are two of the people or two of the teams that we should kind of look at. Last year was amazing, um, my first year playing, and it was really fun. And this year I think um, I'm trying to be more defined with my skills and um, just be an all-around better player. I feel like last year I was good at certain individual things, and that helped, um, or it helped that I had a partner like Katie that was good at everything. Um, because then it could kind of make up for the areas that I still needed to work on. And um, now that I'm kind of more veteran and I have a little, you know, a season under my under my belt, I'm looking uh, more personally to just kind of be a better player all around. And they built this a really nice facility right here on campus. Uh, it's really a functionality issue, I think. It's really easier for our student athletes to come in and just step on the court and practice for two hours and then be done with practice and go and study or take care of some papers or you know get it get some sleep in recovery because before you have to go down to Queens Beach you'd have to set up which takes 45 minutes you'd play for a couple hours and you tear down 45 minutes I mean the the experience for them was much longer and it's just tougher I mean as a division one student athlete time management is everything and when you throw a little extra time at them it's tough for them so being able to play here is awesome and we've been practicing here you know almost the whole fall and uh, now here in the spring so that's our home court that's our home court advantage so I'm hoping that we can get you know kind of the same crowd here on campus um, but it has been really fun to be able to just stay at home I guess and play here on campus